So we are interested in uh, the neurons that uh, underlie our sense of touch. Uh, and uh, in particular, we're interested in the nerve cells that uh, uh, send processes into the skin uh, and respond to tactile stimuli or touch stimuli and propagate that information via electrical signals into the central nervous system, into the spinal cord, and then that information ascends from the spinal cord up to the, up to the brain where we perceive touch or tactile uh, stimuli. The main focus of the lab is understanding the uh, organization of the many neurons or the nerve cells that underlie uh, the sense of touch uh, and how that organization develops. Our work could have implications for uh, developmental disorders of the nervous system. Uh, it has implications for uh, perhaps how one would go about repairing the injured nervous system, uh, injured uh, in response to degeneration like degenerative disorders. Uh, so there's a condition called diabetic neuropathy where uh, because of the diabetic state, there's a degeneration of nerve cells that associate with the skin in particular in peripheral locations like in your feet, uh, in your hands, in the extremities. Um, and one would like to know why that occurs and how to treat it when it does occur. And finally, uh, during uh, nerve injury, a traumatic nerve injury, spinal cord injury, for example, uh, one would ultimately like to rebuild circuits that are damaged. Um, we don't know the building blocks of most of these circuits or the functions of individual nerve components of the circuits. And so understanding this organization will hopefully tell us something about how to rebuild the damaged or uh, broken nervous system. So those are some of the implications.